I'm out of thought from Easy Approach and it's the 22th video of Flutter video series. In this video, we'll implement the provider state management that we have covered in the last video. So we are basically making the counter application using provider that we have made using set state in the part 14. So firstly, what you need to do, you need to come inside your project directory where you have a pubspec.yaml file and here you need to import or you, here you need to add the dependency. So just come after this cappuccino icons and write provider colon 3.2.0 so this is the latest version now when you'll be watching this video god knows what version would it be but you have to put here the latest version now firstly you need to make a change notifier but before making change notifier let's see what code i have written inside this main.dart file i just have a counter app inside the home of material and here i have a counter app which is just a stateless widget and inside this app a counter app widget we have a build and inside this we have a scaffold and we have defined just a body which is just a center text and you can see hello world at the center of the screen now we'll make the change notifier class so what you need to do you first need to go inside this lib and create a new dart file and name it counter model and it would store it would be storing the value of counter so let's name it counter model and you need to extend it with change notifier to make it a change notifier and now you can make here uh, the counter value so here you have counter equals to zero it is the initial value and as i have used here underscore and in the in dart whenever we start variable name with underscore it is automatically private so you need to make a getter as well so that we can access it from outside so to make getter you need to write here the data type and you need to you need to write here get and the name of getter which is get count and you need to return here the count so it is just the shorthand for uh, returning uh, the variable so it's it's actually the code uh, for uh, making uh, a getter now we have to make a function of increment so that whenever the user hits the button we can increase uh, the value of counter by accessing uh, the function inside this counter model so what we can do we can make a function uh, like white increment counter and inside this we'll just simply increase the value of counter and we need to do one more thing which is quite essential we need to call the notifier listeners as well since it is changing the change notifier now we are done with the change of, with the counter model which is actually a change notifier now we need to access this change notifier inside our app so that we can show and call this uh, 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 increment counter so just come here and we'll what we'll do we'll use change notifier uh, to uh, to uh, to make available this counter model which is a change notifier in this uh, counter app widget since we need to use the counter model which is the change notifier inside this whole counter app so we need to make the change notifier available in the parent of this counter app which is this my app so what we can do we can wrap the whole material app widget with the change notifier provider and here you need to give the type of your change notifier as well which is the counter model and now inside it there's there are true proper property that you must need to define the first one is the create where you create the instance of your counter model so first you need to pass your context and you just need to return the counter model it is just the short end for returning the value in dart it's just uh, called uh, arrow notation now inside this there's a property uh, child where you need to paste whatever you cut so just paste and now you can access this change notifier which is the counter model inside the child so the child is actually this so in 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 here you have the counter app as well so you can access this change notifier in this counter app as well now we need to make this tax widget work since it's just showing the dummy value which is just hello world and we need to show the current value of the counter inside this tax widget so whatever is changeable when we are using provider we wrap it inside the consumer so actually consumer is the part which is observing which observes the changes in the change notifier and whenever there's a change in the change notifier it re-render uh, whatever inside the consumer so now inside this consumer we need to give the builder and you need to pass your three different things the first one is the context the second one is the uh, name uh, by which you can access the instance of your counter model and the third one is the child this child is just for the optimization we are not uh, going into the detail of this and now we need to return only the part that's changeable so we have the changeable part this text widget and here you need to show the current value of the counter so you can give the current value of counter by accessing this counter model so here you have the name of your counter model you can give anything and you need to access it with the same name so since we are using the property as well so we need to wrap it in braces 
and inside this we can call uh, the the get count which is the getter for the counter value now if i refresh it it should show the current value of the counter at the center of the screen which is zero so here it is showing zero now we need to have a fab as well the floating action button so that when we use when the user click on it it the value increase so what we can do we can make a floating action button let me zoom it a bit now inside this uh, there's a property on press where you actually need to define uh, where you actually need to access the chain notifier method which is get increment we'll do it later first we'll define the child of it and we'll give just a simple icon on it so icons dot add so now if i see if it is working or not you can see the floating action button and now we need to access uh, the method which is inside this change notifier which is this increment counter so we can access that method by accessing the counter model since here we haven't used the consumer so we cannot directly access the counter model by using this counter model we need to access it by using provider dot off so you can use provider dot off and here you need to pass uh, you, here you need to first give the type of your change notifier which is the counter model and now inside this you need to pass the context and there's a property listen and here you need to give the false it's because we are here just accessing the change notifier we are not listening for the uh, changes so you need, just need to give false whenever you just want to access some of the properties inside the change notifier and now you just write here dot and increment counter and if i refresh it now if i click here it should increase the value of counter so you can see the value is increasing so that's that's it from this video it's actually we are imp uh, we have implemented the provider you can use this uh, state management to make uh, uh, a big a relative big bigger application as well uh, like a to-do application or some uh, simple application uh, for for a complex application we have a different technique that is called block so in the next video we'll learn some different uh, different thing in flutter so thank you for watching